several DC restaurants that are extending the celebration of DC Summer Restaurant Week. And one of those restaurants is Moon Rabbit. So we have executive chef and owner Kevin Tian here to tell us what to expect. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you for having me back. All right, one week down, why did you decide to extend this restaurant week? You know, I think for all the people that want to do restaurant week, one week is not enough. There's course, so many restaurants you want to go to. And it's great because a lot of the chefs here in D.C. decide to do that, which is right. So exactly. We all get, there's so many more options for us to try. What are you making for us today, chef? So today, I think summer is one of my favorite produce seasons. So we have these lovely summer squash from Lancaster Farms, a farm up in Pennsylvania. And then this dish is actually based off of a dish that is not vegan at all, but we wanted to make it vegan. Oh, okay. While the squash is cooking, we yeah. have a little bit of like whipped tofu. I love like the creaminess of it. That's tofu. Look at that. Nice little swoosh in the middle. You played it so much better than I would. <laughs> That's and my dear chef, award-winning chef. And then the sauce is uh, in Vietnamese, it's called mam nem, uh, which is normally fermented anchovies and pineapple, to kind of okay. like the sweetness and the pungentness. Oh, nice, yeah. But here we've used fermented tofu. We have some like lovely wax beans as well that we've pickled with some uh, like slow cooked pineapple. Okay, so forgive me, is most of your dishes vegan or you have these, you try and make these special dishes? You know, or uh, make more options, I guess I should say. We do a little bit more options. We there are a lot of amazing Vietnamese restaurants in the DMV area, but you know, go eat at those places if you want traditional. If you want to see like the new generation of like what Vietnamese cooking is, okay. I would say come to Moon Rabbit. You know, we're offering something familiar but very different. You'll right. recognize the flavors, but everything won't look like it's traditional Vietnamese food. Right, because you're from like the New Orleans area. Absolutely. Right, so we, we get a little Cajun twist to your food. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and one of our dishes on our menu, uh, which I really love right now, is called our uh, chicken press day. We make our own andouille sausage. There's a oh. Vietnamese style like jambalaya rice in the bottom. And if you're from Louisiana, what makes everything better? You know, Emerald says it best, like more butter, right? More so butter. The <laughs> butter sauce on top, and it's like absolutely delicious. That's gonna be fun though. I mean, those are two like Cajun and Vietnamese cooking. Not really anything as somebody who doesn't know would think to combine, but there seems to be a lot of similarities uh, just in terms of marrying those flavors. Absolutely, I think like um, the weather's like very similar between New Orleans and oh, uh, Vietnam. It's like very humid, very hot. Okay. Um, and then a lot of like the flavor profiles as well. So I think Viet Cajun cuisine uh, has been like having this really awesome moment and I'm just happy to be like, you know, one of well, the chefs representing it. I have to say, this chef has been recognized for it too, because you've been nominated yet again for James Beard, right? Absolutely. Congratulations. Thank you so much. That's yeah. like the, the highest honor, right, that a chef could, could receive. You know, a lot of people like dream about being recognized by James Beard, and I think, you know, for, for us to have multiple nominations and yeah. for this year to be a finalist in the Best Chef Mid Atlantic uh, alongside so many chefs that I really look up to. Yeah. Uh, big honor. Oh, that's awesome. Congratulations. All right, what did you put in there with the, are those just green onions? Yeah, just a little bit of like scallions. I love okay. like the freshness of the scallions. Looks so good. And you just salt and peppered that, or was it the salt have some other seasoning? The salt kind of has like a, some secret spices. We do a little bit of like okay. cumin, a little bit of fennel, Szechuan peppercorn. Perfect. Lots of warm spices. You know, um, when my family, uh, escaped to Vietnam after the war. To escape, we actually had to go through China. So my grandma picked up like a lot of like the different flavors uh, in Chinese cuisine and she like combines it into her own. Is that how, where you learned all of this from your, from your family, from your grandma? Or what made you want to become a chef? You know, more, it was mostly out of a necessity to kind of like pay for school and then like help my mom with like bills and stuff around the house. Okay. Uh, but it ended up being something I was really <laughs> passionate about. Yeah. And it'd be an incredible career. Now you have your own restaurant. You're nominated James Beard Award. I mean. Yeah, it ended up working out what, pretty well. I think so. I think so. All right, what you putting on there? And then just a little bit of like fresh herbs. Some is that kale? It's no. a fried prea leaf, which is like a Korean sesame leaf. Oh. A little bit of a. I'm learning so much. Thai basil. All you right, know. so if somebody came into Moon Rabbit has never really had Vietnamese food or your food, what what should we ask? What should we? What would you recommend for them? I would say we have this really cool option called the Chef's Tour of Vietnam. Oh. And that's where you leave it in our hands. We'll just send out the dishes that are like really inspiring us. <laughs> that's perfect. In the moment. No decisions are made. 
you just get to sit back, relax, and we'll take care of you all the way. Why can't I just do that every time I go out to eat? I could, really. Yeah. Just come to Moon Rabbit, just have you make everything. Absolutely. We were just looking at pictures, beautiful restaurant. Um, how, wait, how many years has it been now for you? Uh, we've been in our new location for about six months. We opened in January, okay. February this year. Uh, located uh, in the o former Coco Sala, which was, I know, uh, a DC <laughs> institution. Okay, well, congrats. Thank uh, you so much. We wish you the best of luck. This looks absolutely amazing. There are so many great deals to be had for this restaurant week, this extended restaurant week. So be sure to check out Moon Rabbit this week on F Street in Penn Quarter or follow them on Instagram at Moon Rabbit DC and check out the chef's tour of Vietnam. Thank you so much. Absolutely. We appreciate it.